So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Old. And what's it about? It's about a beach that makes people old. That explains the title. Great work so far. So we're gonna follow this family, right? There's Guy, there's his wife Prisha, there's their 12-year-old daughter Maddox, and there's their six-year-old son Trent. Okay. So at the beginning of the movie, these parents are gonna constantly be saying things like, I can't wait to hear your voice while you're older, and okay, let's try to appreciate the moment we're currently in now. Oh, yeah, that almost sounds like something a human would say. It does. So they go to this resort, right? And then they get to go to this secluded beach with a bunch of other characters. Oh man, it's gonna be tough to introduce all of them. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Trent's whole thing is that he runs up to people and he asks, what's your name and what do you do for a living? Oh, a very expository child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're gonna learn more about their personalities and whatnot throughout the movie. No, pretty much every character boils down to what they do for a living, so we're all done here. Oh, fantastic. So they get to this beach, right? And there's already a guy there, mid-sized sedan. What? Like... Like he's in a car? No, he's a famous rapper, and that's his name. That's the character's name, Mid-Sized Sedan. That's what we're going with. So he's been on this beach for a while, right? And his nose is bleeding, and the girl he was with, she's dead. Oh, no, being dead is sometimes fatal. It is. So the characters are going to learn that this beach ages people really quickly, right? And that 30 minutes equals one year. Okay. And if you try to leave through the cave you came in by, you pass out immediately. And this only affects living cells, not dead cells. Wait, hold on. How do the characters figure this stuff out? Oh, they're just gonna kind of always stand in circles and theorize about what they think is going on. It turns out they're pretty much exactly right all the time. Oh, well, that's great for the audience. Yeah, it is. So what exactly happens? Oh, very weird stuff, sir. This old lady dies pretty quickly. So does this dog. Oh, no. And this one guy who's a doctor is like, the dog is dead, but it was only just alive. Oh, man, yeah. Getting real close to that human-sounding dialogue. Thanks. And so then mid-sized Sedan's girl, her dead body decomposes super quickly. Mm. Not good. And then obviously Trent and Maddox become fully grown in just a couple of hours, and so does this other six-year-old girl, Kara. Oh, very weird. So this Trent kid must grow some facial hair, huh? No, because see, we're gonna say that hair is made out of dead cells, so it's not affected by this place, you know? It doesn't grow. So we're we gonna kind of cover the grown actor's five o'clock shadow with makeup or something? Yeah, it's probably fine. But we're gonna at least kind of shave his armpits and body hair, right? Yeah, it's probably fine. Wait, if dead cells aren't affected by this place, why did that body decompose so quickly? Quickly. Well, to be honest, sir, the dead cell thing is just a thing I wrote so we don't have to deal with wigs, you know? That'd be a logistical nightmare. Right, but you see how the dead cell thing affects the other thing you said? Yeah, but I mean, I can't be expected to apply the rule that I wrote to the rest of the movie that I also wrote. I guess not. Anyway, so we're also gonna find out that the kids have to eat a bunch of food because they're growing so fast. So they're gonna eat enough food to triple their mass in a few hours? That's what we're going with. Okay, but even if, like, every bit of food they eat somehow turns direct directly into bone or tissue or muscle, they'd still have to each eat like 80 pounds of food, right? Yeah, okay, sure. So each of them eats at least 80 pounds of food off screen. Don't worry about it. Okay. So anyway, now that the two six-year-olds have grown up bodies, they're gonna get intimate and the six-year-old girl is gonna get pregnant. The six-year-old girl. Yeah, she's pregnant now, but time is passing by so fast she's gonna give birth in like 20 minutes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And so then she does, but the baby dies right away from lack of attention. <sighs> The six-year-old boy gets the six-year-old girl pregnant and she has a baby 20 minutes later and then the baby dies. Yep, that's gonna be in the movie. We're gonna spend money on it and hire actors and cameramen and put it together and put that in a movie that then people will hopefully pay to see. I could have been a doctor. What? I could have been a doctor. I had good grades. I was a good student. All right. All right. I could have been out there saving lives instead of, what, talking about a movie where two kids have a baby and it dies? Well, this is based on a graphic novel. Oh, this is based on existing IP. Okay, this might make some money then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this was like an original idea, but it's based on intellectual property, and I'm gonna clutch onto that like a safety blanket. You always do, sir. So anyway, moving on. Wait, so did the baby thing have an impact on the plot? Not really, no, not even. Wow, okay, so we're just doing that for the sake of doing it, okay. Yeah, so then we're gonna basically spend most of the movie on age-related incidents. Very fun. Yeah, like the mom has a tumor that's growing so 
so fast that they have to do surgery on her on the beach. Oh, gross. But because of how time works, the incision keeps healing itself shut, so everyone has to kind of pry it open and remove the tumor. Very disgusting. And then that doctor develops violent schizophrenia, so he stabs mid-sized sedan to death. Those incisions didn't heal themselves immediately? Apparently not. And so then they figure out that the reason they pass out when they try to leave is because they're trying to leave too fast. You know, it's like when you come up from diving, but it didn't affect them on the way in. Not even a little. So this one guy suggests, well, why don't we just back out very slowly and acclimate to it, you know? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Right? So then they don't even try that. Oh, okay. And then the stabby doctor guy starts attacking the main husband, so the wife jumps in and cuts him with the rusty blade she found. Oh. And he starts dying super fast, so she tells him, the rust, it's poisoning your bloodstream. Oh, so close to human dialogue, just right there. Yeah, almost. And so the rust poisons his blood immediately, but it was okay for everyone to have their dirty fingers inside her during the surgery. Yep. Okay. And so eventually everyone's gonna die except for Trent and Maddox. So what happens? Well, now that they're in their 50s, they figure out that they need to swim out to this coral that's super far away from the beach. Can children unfamiliar with their newly 50-year-old bodies make that kind of swim? Yep. And so then we're gonna get to the big twist of the movie. Oh boy, here we go. So there was this guy a couple miles away filming them from a cliff, right? Oh, filming people from a cliff is tight. Go on. And after they disappear into this coral, he calls someone and he's like, okay, I watched them for a minute and a half and they didn't resurface, so they're definitely drowned and we're good. Feels like he could have checked for a little longer. Yeah, but he's not gonna. And so then we're gonna find out that this beach is part of like a whole research thing and they're doing clinical trials and this is like the 73rd test group. What do you mean? Well, see, they use this beach to test the long-term effects of the medicines they're trying to make. Wait, how'd they give them the medicine? Well, they give them these drinks when they arrive at the resort, each containing the specific medicine they need for their specific disease. But what if somebody doesn't drink drink their drink? Or what if people share their drinks? I don't know. And what kind of data are they collecting from a guy with a camera a couple of miles away? Unclear. Also, wouldn't people notice like 73 groups of people disappearing from the same resort? No, see, they take these people's passports and they also delete any records of their reservations, so nobody could possibly know where they were. That implies that not one of these hundreds of people ever told anyone where they were going on vacation. Sh he said one of the people was a famous rapper. Why would they include him in a secret test group? Listen, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about how this was kept a secret so the movie can happen, okay? Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. So anyway, Trent and Maddox managed to get back to the resort. How'd they get off of the coral? Don't worry about that. So then Trent remembers there was a cop vacationing at this resort, so he goes to see him and tells him about the whole thing. And what does he do? Well, he arrests everybody on the island. This vacationing cop has jurisdiction on the mystery island. Yeah, sure, I don't care. So that's about it. What do you think? Well, yeah, well, great. Okay, anyway, should be a pretty nice time, you know, filming on a beach. I don't see any problems arising or anything. Yeah, I mean, sounds like a pretty straightforward shoot for sure. Hey, everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.